Hey, this is Corey from Trivium, and this is Antihero Online. Carolina Rebellion 2018, you guys already played your set. How did everything go on stage today? Well, it was amazing. Crowd was on fire. Um, just crazy from the get-go. It just kept getting crazier and crazier until the end. And we're looking forward to this one because every time we played Carolina Rebellion, no matter, you know, open, like I think one of the first two times that we were opening the other stage, like at 1230, and even then it was like crazy. So uh, today was just like, you know, next level. So uh, definitely was a lot of fun. The crowd had a lot of energy. We, you know, tried to go as hard as we could, and uh, it was a great day. It's kind of one of those evolutions in how far you guys have really come. Like when Rebellion started off, you were starting off earlier in the day, and now you're right there at kind of like prime real estate. Yeah, it's just a lot of hard work just hitting the festivals, you know, multiple times over the years, getting new fans. And, you know, we did our headlining tour for the the new album back starting in October. We played here at Charlotte, the thing of Fillmore, and it was packed and tons of people said they you know, saw us for the first time at Carolina Rebellion and wanted to come see what a, a Trivium headlining show is like. So, and it just every year, it just like more and more people are getting familiar with the band, coming out to our shows, picking up the records at the FYE signing, and have really been, uh, you know, accumulating a lot of fans. And uh, definitely at this one, seems like uh, you know we played some other shows around North Carolina and other cities, and it's definitely just growing and growing. So uh, it's really awesome. And I was actually at the show in Charlotte. I was yeah. in the photo. Group. That was a crazy rowdy show there too oh yeah it was packed that yeah, night yeah. it was a sold out crowd yeah it was, it was awesome because you know over the years it's like we played charlotte a lot and uh you know it's nice to see it just keep keeps growing and more and more people are coming out and luckily you know just seeing our show we you know we've been touring for you know like 15 years so uh you know we got the live show down you know we can you know perform really well and, and put on a, a killer show that uh obviously you know, when we play, the, we give out as much energy as possible and the fans give it right back. So it's uh, a really, uh, just really fun show, really energetic and just very, uh, everyone's involved. Yeah. And how does it make you feel seeing that fan base growing? It's awesome. You know, it's, it's nice to go into a show knowing that it's going to be sold out or, or super packed. And, uh, you know, we really pride ourselves on our live show and being able to, you know, actually like performance wise, play the songs. Um, it, you know, just like the record, do all the singing while we play and not have any like backing tracks covering stuff. It's just like four dudes, kind of old school style, just playing up there with just our instruments and just, you know, just giving people an energetic, fun show. And what was your mentality kind of when you guys set up this live show specifically for today? Well, it's obviously a shorter set, so we just kind of picked the songs that we felt would be a really good, you know, just really catch people's attention because it comes right out and it's just right in your face um, so we just kind of took parts of our headlining set and just kind of had to strip a bunch of stuff out since we usually play a lot longer than what we we are on this so you know there's a couple like kind of mandatory songs that are just big songs from like being played on the radio a lot so those are always good and then we just wanted to play you know if there's you know thinking about like how many people in the crowd have, have never heard Trivium like what what songs can we put in the set that are really just kind of make people like be like, oh wow, I gotta pay attention, and, yeah. and or if they hear it off in the distance, well, I gotta go wander over and see what the hell's going on over here. So um, hopefully people see that, and when they come see us play live, we play a shitload more songs. I actually heard you guys playing all the way from the Zippo tent, which is by the other big stage. Yeah, we have a sound guy who uh, is a really killer mixer, and he, uh, yeah, we have no limitations on having to be at a certain level, so. If we, we give the given the go to crank it, we, we, we go full metal style. Turn it up to 11. Oh yeah, as loud as we can get it before it starts sounding all broken up or whatever. And when you went through and set up the set list for this one, how did you kind of get the mix between some of the older stuff and some of the newer stuff? Did you want to go heavy on the newer stuff or did we, you want to balance it out? Um, well, it's, new stuff's got like three. Um, but we just wanted to play like, you know, what would be like kind of like the mixed tape of what would, you know, obviously there, we have fans here, like songs that they'd be pumped to hear, and also like kind of like a mixtape of if no, someone hasn't heard us before, what would be a good mix of stuff that would kind of cover all the bases. Yeah. And with just like the lineups at a lot of these festivals, like there's not really any bands that kind of do some of the stuff that we do with all the 
fast, crazy drumming and like the thrash metal, faster stuff, lots of more technical playing. So we're just like, well, we kind of have our thing. Let's, you know, let's showcase that and uh, show people, you know, something that they might not have uh, known was out there. Oh, yeah, totally. And with the way that, um, I, all right, so I know you guys just dropped that last record. I know you're already looking towards the future. What are you guys kind of planning for the next album? Uh, nothing really yet. Um, we still, we're still going to be touring into 2020. So. Oh God. Um, yeah, it's we're going to be busy in touring. A lot of stuff keeps coming up, and we'll be touring most of this rest of the year. We've got a headlining tour planned for the fall, so keep an eye out for that, which is going to be pretty cool. Um, but we're always writing ideas and collecting riffs and everything like that. So when it kind of comes down to the time to kind of focus on trying to put some songs together, there's usually a lot, a lot of pick, riffs to pick from to kind of put something together. But uh, no, we're definitely you know looking to um, take what we've done in this decade, in this record, and just kind of just take it even further. So it'll probably be some really heavy stuff and just really super catchy shit. So uh, we're just kind of always trying to top the previous one. And with the relentless touring uh, touring schedule that you guys have, how do you find the time to write? Or are you guys like, all right, here's the deal. We need to stop right now and go back into the studio. Well, we just kind of know when when the time's right. We just usually when you get out of tour to get home, usually a bunch of riff ideas come come to mind. And once you get kind of like get the juices flowing, you can get a lot of ideas in a quick amount of time. So. You know, we're, we got three guys in the band that write write material, so there's there's always tons of stuff, a lot of stuff that might not get used, might pop up on an album after that, or three albums away, so there's always stuff that's kind of on the shelf, waiting to be uh, the right time to kind of make sense. <laughs> and there's still a lot of bands left to play on the stages. Are you guys going to try and creep over to a stage and see anybody else alive for the rest of the day? Um, I probably will. Um, I can just kind of hear it, but uh, after I get all this press and then uh, get some get some dinner and, and hang out in uh, my, uh, my my basketball, my Celtics are playing right now, so I got a, I got a playoff game to watch. <laughs> well, that's everything that I got for you, man. Is there anything I didn't touch on that you would like to add? Uh, just a uh, new record, The Sin and the Sentence, has been out for a couple months, so if you haven't heard it, you know, get on Spotify, Apple Music, you know, wherever you get music from, it's out there, so uh, definitely check out the record and uh, hopefully you like it.